We're going to Smokey Approved. On this one, we are going to be checking out Bugsy Malone. Now, uh, I put this one to the side because I already fuck with Bugsy Malone from a bunch of other records. I heard that Bugsy Malone H record, uh, that Body 2 record. That's probably my favorite one from him. And uh, by the time this one comes out, or maybe beforehand, uh, I heard him on that... uh, as a feature from somebody something crew i can't remember the name that thing was like cold crash crew or something like that i can't remember the name of but uh that video is going to come out eventually but uh yeah he's got a daily duppy i've never heard a daily duppy from bugsy so i was just like yeah let me check him out and i know he's got a fire in the booth because i watched that charlie sloth uh no jumper interview and he was talking about how he went and he found like uh bugsy malone and other people outside of london to kind of like do the thing that is necessary to make shit the industry survives like yo it can't just be one city fucking just always being on so like yo big shout out to charlie sloth and fucking yeah that's why i'm checking this out so let's let's see what this is talking about let's see what bugsy got for us hopefully this shit is fire nigga up though he got himself a lamborghini and the rolls and the bins nigga pulled up with the Merc in the cord. Okay. Oh, word? Five music. Five music. Sound to Malone. 2022. Listen. Watch this. Climb so high, I'm starting to feel dizzy. CR7 on the pitch, I'm still tricky. Had a couple real niggas in the field with me. I didn't bring the steel with me. Cause I'm a businessman now. When big top shot has started asking for a handout. I knew I'd lost my old friends and I would have to stand down. A couple of my frenemies are nearly at a banga. Man down, man down, and I could bring a gang up. Now, you know I'm asking with all these niggas because I I've, because I've been over there, I understand. Not that like, oh it's small, but like like niggas backgrounds kinda have to match up like like how Charlie was saying in his interview, like six nine, I don't think could have happened over there. Or just like how currently in America we're allowing niggas to be like fake Drakes and Lil Dirks and shit, and them niggas is getting money. Like I'm just like, why? Like like that shit couldn't like I don't think that shit could happen over there with y'all. So like, is his background one that is valid as well? Where like he's like, yo, like I used to be like outside, but like I had to, my life has changed. So to make sure I don't fucking fuck my new life up, I can't be how I was in my old life and how I was in my old life you know I'd fuck you niggas up but you know what it is nigga I moved on cause if so hey shout out to that nigga man a lot of niggas can't even see that decision and make it so big shout out to you had the couple real niggas in the field with me I didn't bring the steel with me cause I'm a businessman now when big top shot has started asking for a handout I knew I'd lost my old friends and I would have to stand down a couple of my frenemies are nearly at a banga man down man down and I could bring a gang up rule number one be low key and never stand out in Liverpool I learned to bury money that's a mad town eating porridge in my Dolce and Gabbana nightgown pictures in my iCloud and slits in my eyebrow one from the barber the other from some other shit damn I hate to reminisce like when I used to listen to the chronic but when i thought chronic had the remedy rule number two protect your energy and this is big business i'm trying to build an empire and this is really me i'm trying to live and inspire you won't get the message if i don't speak the language sometimes i have to jdz and spit fire grown up watching movie stars like denzel language sometimes i have to jd okay 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 hey i really like that when a nigga has enough longevity that like hey nigga you, and it's got 18 m's on it Hey, that nigga was, hey, must have really spit fire. I'm gonna have to check that shit out. Let me know if y'all want me to check that shit out. Easy and spit fire. Grown up watching movie stars like Denzel. Where I come from, it's not easy to do well. I'm in Mexico shaking hands with the cartel. I told him I'm gangster. One six. So is that that shit when that one producer when when Dave's beats be starting or some people's one six one. 
And that isn't that what is that where he's is he from the same place that uh Bugs he's from? You are not a star in hell. Mom told me I should come home. Oh now nah, I'm still adapting to the time zone. She calls me the Dodger, cause I'm in a league of my own. Skillful, listen to me, rhyme homes. Had they mad, had they daft, can they not do the match? Rule three. I gotta hold him to bear just like I hold everybody else. Even though I understand that the league of their own bar is a baseball reference and he's connecting that with the Dodger line, the Dodgers are not in a league of their own. That's like, that's not even to my American ear. I'm just like, nah, bro. That, that doesn't, the, the punch only works on a baseball reference. But I was just like, how I would do it with anybody. If I was in the studio, I'd, as the American friend, I'd be like, bro. Obviously, this is not for an American audience, so it probably doesn't fucking matter. And they probably don't. Like, do you guys understand the fucking League of Their Own? Did that movie do well over there like that? Do y'all like Tom Hanks like that? Because if so, oh, yeah, it's, it's fucking, y'all know that movie. But, uh, yeah, nah, that, that that doesn't really, doesn't work. If you fall off, make a comeback. I don't know if he's a pit bull or a stuff. I just know that I would send him in first to go and catch man in the bath. I didn't mind. I didn't hey, I didn't know if he was a pit bull or a staff. I just know I sent him in first to catch man in the bath. That's a, oh, hey, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm very critical, but hey, when I hear this shit, that's crazy. That's just, oh my god. Are they daft? Can they not see the stats? Rule four, go legit. Once you finished in the trap, and the roads are a lie and a black. In the nineties, there was money to be made, but they're never coming back. I'm not trying to be boisterous. I'm in Dubai in a top restaurant with Tabasco and my oysters. Had to take a vacation. The money's pointless if it can't switch the noise off. They lied about me in an interview, but it's okay. Cause they've not really said it till they've said it to your face. And they're man enough, man enough to put me in my place. So I just let them have their say. Oh, I'm so responsible. I Yo, like, the thing I'm, I like so much, like, I, I keep stopping it, but it's just a lot of shit that I get the note that I'm enjoying from his, his bars, especially that I've not listened to him. Like, I've listened to his commercial shit. So, again, like, you know, like, I, I got a note every time. Like, when I get to hear a person rhyme for the first time, like, I really... I really care about what the fuck they say, and I really appreciate the fact that, like, say his background is his background. He's at the success level he's at now. The shit he's talking is a lot of shit that niggas that have his background, when they get to that level, they're still talking that other shit. And he's just talking about, like, shit that, like, a nigga at his level, like, yeah, let them niggas talk. I don't give a fuck. And unless they say that shit to my face, they really ain't said it. So, yeah, you can be out here lying on me all you want. Like, as long as my paper is good, I'm still eating. I don't give a fuck what you niggas say. Like, who cares? And to be upset about it, like, no. Like, like you said, I'm going to take a vacation and turn the noise off. Like, yo, these are all messages that I'm just like, a little nigga needs to hear. The full range of the story like if we're gonna be making music then let's do the full range of the story like especially if we're gonna be on other records and now we're gonna talk greasy for the whole time because now that he's got this i don't give a fuck if he says all kinds of fucking crud on another record i know that he's at least preached this message and some little niggas gonna hear both messages and now it's like okay cool like at that point it's like with anything in life you've been taught what right and wrong is now you make decisions it's about, about as good as it's gonna be so hey, I fuck with this so far. I was in the dock looking at the chief constable. We all know time in a cell's non-refundable. I'm walking around the mall with a man holding my bags and the sofa in Dior got me feeling so comfortable. Levels to this shit, levels to this shit. I'm Cristiano, I started on the pitch. Like Marciano, I'd wear gloves, but we pedal everywhere, so I really had to break them in. One night in Salford, I had to iron a man out. And if you don't believe me, ask Chrissy Korkovich. R.I.P. Jared, that's a Manchester. Yo, who's Chrissy Korkovich? Can somebody, though, let me know who that is, please. Am I not? And if you don't believe me, ask Chrissy Korkovich. R.I.P. Jared, that's a Manchester soldier that should have lived. Damn, I hate to reminisce. She gets messy when you're from the roads. A man killed his own baby, caught a sentence like a common cold. And now they say that he's a schizophrenic. They forget we wore mass way before the pandemic. Rule number five, turn your pain. Yo, come on. Come on. 
He's a schizophrenic. If you get, we wore a mask way before the pandemic. Rule number five, turn your pain into drive. Rule number six, only get into the mix if they're trying to escape from the bottom and get rich. If they're trying to go back to jail, give them on a miss. Life different when you're infamous. What does that mean? It means a lot. When you came up serving crack fiends, I've seen a lot. Yeah, I came up around them bandits. If you've never seen a jail cell, you wouldn't understand it. Had to leave and they was envious. It's like Armageddon when you start off at the bottom and you're trying to get to heaven. Rule number seven, you should never settle. Aim for the skies or keep dancing with the devil. Yo, yo, hey, Bugsy's nice. This shit was hard. I did not expect this from this nigga at all. He was nice on all the like the other records I heard him, or like just you don't want to get a slap with a left. Hey, he's like he's getting off on that shit on that fucking body two shit. Like I really liked his verse on it, but I'm just like I just like you killed the beat. Like it was a good verse, but I didn't know he like he had this type of bag. So it's like, hey man, like I like I said, he can talk all type of cut on another record. I don't give a fuck now. That shit is hard. Like hey, like Bugsy Malone, hey. Smokey approved. Uh, the Daily Duppy Smokey approved. If there's Bugsy Malone records you want me to check out, please just put them in the comment section. I'll get to them as fast as I can. And yeah, that's Smokey approved. I'm your host, journalist. I'll see you on the next one.